Hello again and welcome. Today we're going to talk about a great Excel feature. It's like driving a car or riding a bicycle. Every Excel user should know how to create a pivot table report. At least a simple one. So, what is it about pivots? Pivots make your numbers talk. And as we all know, numbers are crucial when we negotiate with our clients, suppliers and even inside our own company. Basically, pivots transform lots of data into something meaningful, such as a succinct report. Here is an example. So, let's see how pivots can help you manage your business. In this example, I am a sales manager. Sales transactions are added to a list as and when we get orders. As you can see, the transactions are not organized in any particular way. And that doesn't matter. What does matter is that the descriptions must be clean. For example, if I spelled investment once with an S and once without, the pivot table report would still work, but it wouldn't be succinct. This is why we need to spend a little time beforehand to make sure that the data source is homogeneous. Preparing the data source is pretty boring. But now the fun starts. Let's create the report we showed you at the beginning. We position the cursor in the list, the data source, and press the Create Pivot Table command on the Insert tab. Excel takes the column headings from the original list and places them in the Pivot Table field list. To create the report, we slide the fields onto the table structure to the left. In version 2007 there is an even easier way to move fields. We simply slide them down to the areas in the field list window. As the sales manager, I'm obviously interested in the sales numbers. These are available in column B of the data source under the title Sales in Euros. So, I slide the field Sales in Euros to the Values area and immediately get the sum of all the sales figures. I recommend that you start by filling in the Values area first because it gives you an immediate result that you can check. In this case, the sum total of all transactions. With the value done, it's easy to imagine how the report should or could look. We slide the Product Category field onto the Row Labels area and the Client Type field onto the Column Labels area. To finish, I want to place the Field Office field to the Report filter area, allowing me at the very top level to filter the data by region. Hmm, well, I'm happy with that. If I wasn't, I can change the fields around. One important thing you must know about pivots is that by default, data is not updated automatically. In other words, if the source changes, a manual manipulation is necessary to update the report. To finish, we change the report layout. And to make things even easier to understand, we display the data graphically. In a future video, I will show the various possibilities of linking the chart with PowerPoint, so that your presentations are always up to date. That's it for this time. 
Now that you know the basics, you might want to go back to video number 4 of this series. It shows you how to display numbers as values and as percentages side by side in the same report. Look forward to meeting up with you next time round.